In this video, we will see what is a Maven form, what is a Maven super form, and how to get the effective form in Maven. Let us start. Form is also known as project object folder. This is the basic unit in Maven. This is written in XML format and is used by Maven for building the projects. So whenever we want to build any project using Maven, we have to write a form.xml. So when we are writing form.xml, we have to specify certain elements like group ID, artifact ID, and version. And we can also specify other properties and the dependencies used by the project. We can also declare like the build configurations, uh, repositories, etc., etc. But at a minimum, we have to specify these three elements like group ID, artifact ID, and version. So group ID will be used to combine the related applications together. For example, we have like certain applications inside our organization. We can specify the single group ID for the organization, and for each application, we can specify a particular artifact ID. And each of the artifact will have different versions. We also need to mention a particular version for this artifact ID. So when we combine group ID, artifact ID, and version, we can uniquely identify a particular application or a component inside Maven repository. In addition to these basic elements, we also can mention other things like properties, dependencies, etc. So here I have an example application, example one. When we see the directory structure of this example, we have form.xml. In addition to that, we also have the source code. So here I have an example hello.java that is present under src main java. So let me try to execute maven install command on this application. So when we execute maven install, by default, it will expect a form.xml in this directory. So it will use this form.xml to build this application. So let us execute this. So now it has built the application and it has installed that application inside a local Maven repository. You can also specify other build files other than form.xml. For example, if I copy this form.xml to form1.xml, now if you want to use this form1.xml instead of form.xml, you have to specify an option if and f. So now it will take form1.xml for building the project. So of course it will do the same thing because both build files are having the same content. So this way we can specify a different form.xml for the maven commands. Now if you see the directory structure, it also contains the target where the classes are generated and also it has created the jar file. So this way maven will use some conventions to build the project. So the conventions in the sense here it is taking the source files from src main java and it will generate the classes under target directory. How Maven identifies all the source directory, target directory and the name of the artifact whatever we are generating. It's, so Maven has a concept of super form. So this form will contain all the default configurations required by all the projects of Maven. So what are the things it can, so many things like repositories. So this is the repository from where we can download the artifacts by default. So this plugin repositories will contain all the plugin repositories from which we will download the plugins. And also it will specify a lot of configurations in the build. For example, which is, what is the target directory and what is the output directory for classes and also what is the final name. And also the test output directory, source directory. So all these properties by default will be defined in the Maven super form. That means whenever we are writing any project form.xml, by default they will inherit these properties. So this way every project will inherit the properties of a super form by default. For example, if we want to override any of these properties, we can specify those inside our form.xml. For example, if I want to specify a particular final name for my artifact, I can specify the final name. So let me open form.xml here. So here I will write a build element. So under build, I will specify the final name. So this is the test tab I am giving for final name. So now I have written a build element here. Under this build element, I have overrided the file name in my artifact. So let me save this and again I will build the application. Now we can see that it has built a new jar file with my final name instead of the default name whatever it has used in the Maven super form. So this way we can override a particular configuration inside a super form by writing the particular element inside our project form.xml. So whenever we are building a project in Maven, it not only considers the configurations properties inside our form.xml, it also will consider the properties and configurations inside the parent XMLs and also the super form.xml, which is the parent of all form.xmls, and also it will consider the user settings.xmls and active profiles, etc. So, how to get the effective form used by Maven? 
So for that we can use help plugin and in this help plugin we can use a goal called effective form. So let us execute this. So now we can see this is the effective form for this project. So these are all the properties which are being used by Maven for building this project. We can see here the build section. So in the build section, uh, since we have changed our final name, that is overridden. Similarly, we can also configure like plugins, build sections, etc. by overriding a particular element in the form.xml. So now we understand what is a form.xml and what is a super form and what is an effective form. So I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.